All right, guys. Over here we have the uh, the DJI Mavic and a Samsung S4. It's an older Galaxy. I was able to install the DJI app. Where is it? There you go. And let's see if it works. All right, it's installed. Let's plug it in. uses the micro USB adapter for the controller turn these on all right so so far it seems to be working normally I, I usually use my Samsung S7 uh, it's a little windy but we'll check it out all right so go fly press that button Let's have the Mavic face that way. Alright. So that firmware update, that's just a new firmware I haven't really put into the Mavic yet. It is April 30th. And I'm using the latest app that's available. Okay, so as you can see, the camera, the gimbal, works fine. It's a little dark, but I think that's just because it is... Uh, it's uh, what, 7 p.m. right now, it's about to be sunset. So, let's see how it works. All right, take off, sure. All right, and the puppy's flying. All right, as you can see, it's a little dark, but the feed is nice and clear. little bit zoom around it's pretty cool we're at 100 feet 150 200 all right so the app itself see that that was a little bit of lag right there uh, we're not too far off close that and the camera settings you can hit record and it's recording fine large wind velocity it's giving me all the warnings that I need to know and I could adjust the settings and stuff over here and that seems to be working fine also all right so it's giving me high wind velocity so I'm gonna return to home so I, it's a windy day in Florida I don't want to crash my Mavic Here is the DJI Mavic landing with the Galaxy S4. Oh, all right, give me a little warning not suitable for landing. So I'm just gonna do it manually. Go near there and just hold the stick down and she drops. Perfect. Thanks for watching, guys.